Hello everybody and welcome back to Children's Church. For those of you who have been on holiday, I hope you've had a wonderful time and done something interesting. Today we're starting off a new series which I think you're all going to love. For the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at people in the Bible who God gave amazing talents to. And we're going to see how they use their talents to glorify God. Each and every one of us has a set of talents, but it's up to us to choose how we use them. Will we use them purely to make ourselves look good or will we use them to glorify God? Let's watch a clip from America's Got Talent and check out this awesome talent we find across the world. Wow, that was awesome. Those dancers were epic. I don't know how people do these kinds of things. I'm pretty sure something like that must take a lot of time. That's raw talent and a lot of practice. But at the end of the day, it makes it all worth it. What are some of the talents that you have? Maybe it's also dancing or singing or maybe you're more sporty, more arty, maybe you're good at fixing things, maybe you're good at looking after people, maybe you're good at maths or cooking or baking. All of these things are talents, but it's up to us how far these talents will take us. If we never work on them, we'll stay the same and stay pretty average at them. But if we put in the hours, those natural talents that we have become something quite extraordinary. This reminds me of a story in the Bible. It's a story that Jesus told, one of his parables, and it's about talents. In this story, talents is referring to money, but the principle is the same when it comes to the things we're gifted with and good at. So listen closely when you hear the story. Remember that a parable is a a story that Jesus told to the people that were listening, and it's a really important one. And this is how it goes. A man decided to go on a long trip, so he called his servants and asked them to look after all his possessions, his house, his stuff, and his money. Keep in mind that this man in the story represents God, and his servants are you and me. The man trusted his servants to take care of his special and valuable things. He gave the first servant five talents, the next one two talents, and the last one one talent. The man gave his servants the amount according to their abilities, the amount that he thought they could handle the best. That's the same with God. He's given us different talents and to compare ourselves to one another would just be silly. We're made to have different talents for different reasons. The man left on his journey and each of the servants did something with their talents. The first servant doubled his talents immediately and he got five more talents. The one who got two talents doubled his as well, so he got another two talents. But the man who only got one decided to bury it to keep it safe. When the master got back, he wanted to know what each of his servants had done with their talents. The master was very pleased with the first two talents. 
he put them in charge of the thing, these things because he knew that they would be faithful with what he gave them. When he came to the third servant, he wasn't impressed. He immediately took back that one talent and gave it to the felon who had used his money to make more. The point that Jesus is trying to make in this story is for us to use our gifts and talents. And if you do, he will give you more and allow you to keep doing the things that you're good at. He will be able to trust you with so much more. If you ignore these special gifts God has given you, he can simply take them away. But that's not his plan for us. He trusts us and wants us to increase our abilities and talents. Maybe you're not sure what your talents or gifts are yet, and that's fine too. Chat with your parents or maybe even your children's church teachers and see what they think your talents are. And also, there's no rush. You'll figure out, you'll figure it all out as you get older and discover more about yourself. I would love to see, and I'm sure the rest of Wesley would love to see your talents. So send me a picture or a video of you doing your talents. And at the end of the series, we'll be able to show Wesley all our children and their wonderful talents. Let's pray and worship together. Dear God, thank you for blessing each of us with talents. Remind us to use them to your glory, rather than think that we're not good enough. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. you